great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. It belongs to everyone gathered here today and everyone watching all across America. This is your day. This is your celebration. And this, the United States of America, is your country. And at a rally this May, a supporter suggested shooting migrants at the border. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Hail Trump. Hail our people. Hail victory. As the disease spreads, if it spreads. It's not so much a question of if this will happen anymore. This will end. This will end. This coronavirus will go well beyond this season into next season. We have it so well under control. It's likely that this virus will cause a pandemic. And when they they let them do it. We have them by the person. Donald Trump is a man who ran for office to make his brain great, not to make our country great. He is a racist, he is a con man, and he is a cheat. You are entitled, yes, I deny the Holocaust, it's an extortion racket. I want to find a friendly reporter. Do you oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is an American television reporter, Omar Jimenez, being led away. Officials are already looking into today's shooting as a possible hate crime. That's a weapon capable of reaching American cities. Bomb threats have been made against Jewish centers all across the country in the last couple of weeks. Transgender people from serving in the Another military in any could override capacity. anti-discrimination protection for LGBT people. Inside this old warehouse in South Texas, the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol is keeping hundreds of immigrant children in cages created by the president who normalizes white supremacy, normalizes anti-black racism. Even if he doesn't echo what this guy says, he creates an environment where that stuff seems okay, and that's how he feels. So it's not that he creates racism or white supremacy, although he may nurture it, but he makes an environment where you can say it out loud, which only creates more danger for other people. Not just abstract danger, not just theoretical danger, but real life violence. What do you have to lose? This smiling man is deadly serious. You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no job. 58% of your youth is unemployed. Rural America spoke up when they elected Trump. Rural America. Get the f*** out of here.